Hey guys, welcome to Mondays with Mark. Oh, it is so fabulous to see you. Oh, we have a fun episode tonight. Tonight, it's the bee's knees on Mondays with Mark. All right, we're gonna make a bee hotel. Yes, we are. Let's go do it. Welcome to Mondays with Mark. I am Mark and we are on Smokey Steve and Mark. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, yes, we have a fun episode tonight. Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, but first, okay, a little bit of business to take care of first. How are you doing? I hope you had a fantastic start to your week. Uh, you know, I love Mondays with Mark because it's just you and I get to spend a little QT together. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyway, no, seriously, it's fantastic to see you. I had a long day. I just got home from work and uh, trying to put everything together to have a fun video for y'all. And uh, special thanks to everyone who stopped by our live last night. Ah, oh, we had such a fun time. It was so fun. Um, we did the analytics and it turned out to be um, the, the best one we've had so far. We had the most people we've ever had in a live last night so that's super exciting and you know we're doing it every Sunday at six o'clock six o'clock our time so if you didn't stop by yesterday definitely stop by next week at six okay Sundays at six we're live every week Ooh, super exciting all right so I guess that's all of the um, business I have to talk about um yeah let's see what that I want okay so update you on a couple things um, oh it's right over here I wanted to show you this um, this came today as far as my health I've been getting a lot of questions on my health everything's okay I have an appointment tomorrow with the doctor so I'll definitely update you on um, how that goes but all of my CBD oil and I think I showed you my balm already it came on Friday but all my CBD products came in so I'm very anxious to give this a try uh, this is the oil and I have the directions with it and I'm going to talk to my doctor about it tomorrow and we'll give it a whirl and I'll definitely let you know how it turns out okay Okay, so that's that. Um, before we get into our little project today, um, I spent a lot of time over the weekend out in the garden as well. I always do, right? I love being out there. It's kind of like my little personal time, if you know what I mean. Well, me and Oscar anyway. And if you've been following the garden, you know, at all, uh, you know that I planted pumpkins and man, they just like totally exploded. Like I swear within one week, they like quadrupled in size and we built a trellis out of branches about let's say about a month ago. I'm not sure. I made a video about it and I knew that I had to expand it. I had to make it a little bit bigger. So I did that yesterday. Now I couldn't wait to share this with you because you know, my outdoor buddy, you know, my gardening buddy or the garden Wait, what did she say? The guardian of the gardens. I love that. Uh, Oscar, he always is like involved in everything that I do out there. Everything from planting to digging to whatever it is I'm doing, he has to be right there. And I just love it. But so I wanted to add another post to the trellis for the pumpkins. So I dug the hole and I'm getting ready to do it. And he came over to help. And I caught it on tape, so I just couldn't wait to share this with you. Take a look. Fill the hole up. Thank you for helping. I have my little helper here. He's filling the hole up. I don't have the post in it yet, but thank you for your help. Thank you. <laughs> I, I don't know. I felt that was it. It was so adorable. <laughs> really, now I know he didn't know that he was helping me or trying to, but it just—it's so funny. I don't know. I I I really like him. <laughs> but anyway, okay, on to what we're going to do today. So, oh yes, we are going to make a B B and B. 
Get it? B, B, and B? B mm -mm. A B hotel. So, you know, why are we making a B hotel? Okay, I'm going to tell you why. So, I have some notes here, because uh, I don't want to forget anything or lead you wrong or anything. And before I start, I'm going to tell you that we are, um, we're going to make a B hotel. And a B hotel simply is a, mm, a nesting place for solitary bees. Solitary bees are great pollinators, you know, and, uh, um, you know, you, 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 there are some gardens, in fact, you know, that are solely pollinator gardens. Their entire garden is uh, uh, meant for pollinators. And uh, I think I said bees are one of the, like, top pollinators out there. You know, um, butterflies, two butterfly gardens and all that. And what we're going to do, bees are... You know, they're pretty endangered, you know, uh, the world over. And uh, if you, all you have to do, like, for your part in it is to just provide a nesting area for bees. And they are, you know, a little bit different than your, uh, I, I would, I guess, most common bees being the bees that make honey, you know, and they are like hive bees, you know, they live in a colony and they make a, they, they can make a honeycomb and they produce honey. Solitary bees or mason bees, they are not like that. They are, as the name says it, solitary. And um, the way they kind of procreate is they nest and the female will nest in tubes like anything like a tube and, and we'll get to that in a second but I just wanted to reiterate that you know they're solitary they're not part of a big hive or a big colony and what we're making today as a little habitat so that they can thrive grow reproduce or whatever now it's a year-long project not to make it but you know we're gonna set this up and hopefully it will attract some beneficial insects most importantly the mason bee or the solitary bee and um, like I showed you real quick this is just a quick little graph that I downloaded from National Geographic um, that gives you three different ideas of how to do it real easy I'll put this on Facebook along with some pictures of the one that I made if you uh, you know want to take on this project yourself so I'll do that on Facebook tomorrow but um, we're going to get started on ours right now now there's only three things you need to attract um, mason bees to your garden and that would be like um, you would need to have access to a nest and that's what we're gonna make now you'll need um, pollen so you'll need flowers you know something that uh, the bees can go to to get pollen which is their food source and then you would need a mud source yes a mud source now that in a garden obviously that is your ground you know uh, regular soil um, they need that to build their nest to build the ultimate cocoon that they make to um, um, to nest now if you're making one and say you're in an apartment and you just want to put one outside somewhere or whatever uh, really all you have to do uh, a pail with a little bit of soil in it like close to the bee hotel is perfectly fine but if you have access to mud you're good okay um you know and where we want to place it once it's finished is south facing southeast you want it to get morning sun i'm just going over these points first and i'll of course expand on it a little bit later um and uh let's see here uh i already told you about that i told you about that um tubes tubes da, 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 da. it's so cool too when i was talking about mud the female it will take her 20 to 50 trips to a mud source to completely finish her little cocoon in there. It's so cool. I was watching some videos on how it's made. And I think this project would be fantastic for, for children as an educational thing to do. Because I made one of, years ago, I made one of these and I was so fascinated by the process. When you see something like this happen in nature that is normally hidden, it just opens your eyes at how just incredible nature really is. I mean, this whole process takes an entire year to do, you know, um, you know, and when you see them go in there and use the little nest that you've made and they build and they put their cocoon in there and they seal it off. And then in the spring, when they start to come out, it is so fascinating and such a wondrous thing to see. I would really recommend it. Um, uh, but it, but this project is great for kids. Adults, 
you know, you can tell I'm kind of into it, and I'm an adult. I mean, I guess that's in debate, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so I think I got, like, pretty much the basics down, so let's get to. I'm not going to take you through every single step of it, because I'm trying to keep these videos a little encased, if you know what I'm saying. I'm hoping to re release this as a standalone video later, so you get to see kind of the sneak peek of it now, but we will finish it. So, like I said, to start off, you need just to provide a place for the bees to nest, okay? And the most simplest, simplest way to do that is with a tin can, and you can use some paper straws. Here, let me grab mine over here. I just got a package of these to show you. You want to use paper, not plastic. I, there is a debate out there which one is better. I personally think that paper is better. Plastic tends to harbor some diseases and things like that. Um, so I, I would recommend paper, and not to mention the size of the straw is perfect, perfect for the mason bee, the opening in there, all right? So the most simplest way to do it would be to get a tin can and fill them up with some paper straws, and there you have it. You have your nest. If you put it somewhere uh, near some flowers, and as long as they have access to mud source, you have your very own <laughs> bee hotel just like that and I'm going to show you how to make one in a minute now I did mine a little bit bigger and you can make them as large or as small as you want now I just constructed here let me lift this up here this is the base basis for my hotel I'm making one a little bit bigger and as you can see I just used some reclaimed wood I had and I built it into a box I just nailed them together like that and on the back, I put some mesh. Uh, this is chicken wire that I stapled on there. And then I just put two pieces of wood like this. This is balsa wood hanging over the edge to kind of give it a little bit of a rain guard, um, just to keep some of the elements out of it as best as possible, like that. Um, in addition to a base, like your tin can, or if you want something a little more larger, like this one, you'll need some stuff to put in it. Now, I'm going to make some of these tin cans with the uh, straws in it to place in there. In addition to that, reclaimed wood, balsa wood, is your best friend in this project. And I have tons of this because I, I bought a bunch of it years ago and I kept it, you know. Um, old logs, old wood. Another way would be to take a piece of non-treated, non-treated wood, like a 2x4 or a 4x4 or something like that, and just take a drill and drill the tubes right into it. So you make a little hole in there, and that is very similar to what we're doing with the straws. That's another way, another thing that you can do with that. Um, some, some old reclaimed wood stones. I have a bunch of pine cones, which is fantastic. Some natural raffia that will work great. And finally, my favorite moss. I love moss and uh, insects love moss as well. Um, and you want to kind of keep everything as natural as possible. Like I said, untreated wood. If you are going to paint it, you only want to paint the outside of it, not the inside of it. And kind of steer away from stains and things like that. The more natural, the better. You want to get, you want to, you want to have it a place that attracts the bees, you know, any type of chemical or anything, you know, kind of deters them a little bit, if, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to show you how to make a tin can one, and then I'll show you how I'm going to incorporate it into my, my larger one here. So tin can, any size will work. These are soup cans. Uh, I washed them and I dried them out, and uh, a package of straws, and it's very I, this is very, very basic. Um, all you want to do is take your straw and cut it right in half like this, okay? And if your uh, scissors are dull, you know, and they, you, know, you just want to kind of open it a little bit like that because you want them to be able to get in, you know. You don't want them to be flat. <laughs> anyway, so you're going to cut all of your straws, which I have already done like this, okay? So we have a bunch ready to go. And we are going to just take them in our hand. And, uh, you know, you can figure out your own way to do this. I'm just showing you the way that I did it, and which seems to be pretty simple. I held it in my, I just held them in my hand like, like so. And then I had a rubber band, and I banded the outside of it, just like so. Now, all those little tubes in there, hopefully, fingers crossed, 
these are rooms in the hotel, and they'll all be rented out, hopefully, by our solitary bees. I mean, that we hope so anyway, right? So you want something like that. Now, what I did to make it a little more decorative and to add a little bit of space around it, I got some natural reindeer moss, or Spanish moss will work too, any kind of moss will work, really. And I just tucked it under, I'll just do it real quick and show you here. I tucked it under the gum band so that some of it is overhanging that a little bit. And then I put it inside the can like so. And then I added a little more moss all around the outside of it, tucking it down in a little bit so that we center our our rooms for our hotel, so to speak. So here, I have a finished one here. So the finished looks like so, just like that. Okay, so I have a bunch of these done already. And I also took a tin can and I filled it with pine cones too. Pine cones, it will attract uh, some, um, some insects, ladybugs. Definitely ladybugs like this. So pine cones, definitely another way to decorate, okay? So now I'll just show you real quick here. Let me get over here. And we have our base ready to go. And what I did was at the bottom of it in there, if you can see, I just took some paper, brown natural paper, craft paper, um, grocery bags, the brown grocery bag. And I just ripped it and I crumpled it all up and I put it down in there and I covered it with moss. So it's still breathable, but what I did was it added a little space in the bottom of it and it's going to provide a little bit of insulation um, for the winter time as well. Okay. Now, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about winter later and what you do in the winter time. Um, I leave mine out all winter. I've never had a problem with it, but I also insulate it a little bit too. So we'll get to that. So now we have the base base of our little, well, I guess a little larger hotel ready to go. Okay. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do, oh, and I wanted to show you this too, to make, if you're doing one just like this with chicken wire, you're also going to have to mount it somehow. Uh, I'm going to mount mine right on the fence outside, which I'll show you later, but you could mount it to the top of a post if you want to, or set it on top of something. If you're going to hang it on something, a little tip, I put hangers on the back here, and all they are are literally wire hangers that I clipped, I wove in the chicken wire, and then I have a piece hanging on the end, so I can just slide it down. Get it? Sound effects, right? All right. So anyway, I hope that made sense. I think it will all make sense once we go outside. But anyway, so now we have the base of our, we have the, let's see, how can we put it? We have the outer structure of our hotel done. Now we're just gonna fill in the space with all of our rooms that will be available for rent. And to do that, I'm just going to put my tin cans in. Let's see, let's do all the same size here. Let's do this one, like that, like that. Let's see, we'll do like this, and we'll do like that. And then, you know, I'll put maybe, how about a branch we'll put in, like so. And then I have, let's see, I have another one with that we could put right there. And then I also have a whole bag filled with sticks, pine cones, um, old, like, old, like, hard leaves, um, I think there's even some, there's coconut in here, raffia, like, seed pods, anything natural like this. I would definitely steer away from potpourri. I've seen the same thing like this in scented potpourri kind of stuff. Don't use anything scented. It has to be natural, okay? No scent to it at all and not treated with anything. But all of this stuff will work. Um, like see these big like these big seed pods things like that i have a whole bag of it that i'm going to add in there in in different compartments in there now a note about craft paper too if you have a bunch of grocery bags brown grocery bags or if you have a roll of brown craft paper like mailing paper you can make your own tubes all you have to do is cut us just a square in the length where's my straw there it is 
just you want to cut a square in the length of your uh, like about a half of a straw there you know about four or five inches or so wrap it around a pen or a drinking straw attach a tiny little piece of tape to it or you could use regular uh, Elmer's glue you know not anything toxic but like school glue or something and pop it off and you have your tubes you don't even have to buy straws now Depending on how large you're going to make your hotel, I don't know how long it'll take you to make like 10,000 of them out of these, but it's definitely, definitely an option, okay? Bamboo works as well. Um, again, that's a debate like the other thing was, uh, whether or not bamboo actually is good or not. Uh, most people say to try to steer away from bamboo tubes. I've never used it, so I can't really comment on that. I only know what I did on my research. So, um, now... We have our, let's have a finished one here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna finish putting all this together and we're gonna go outside and hang it up. I'm not gonna have you sit here while I put everything in there and take it out and put it back in just because this pine cone doesn't look right where it's at and I have to put it somewhere else, you know what I'm saying? But I'll do that and then I'll show you the finished product. But before we do that, if you are starting off simple and all you're going to do is a tin can one, um, you can do one just like that and you could take some raffia or some jute twine and just hang it and, and you're done. You could also attach, say, three of them together like so and then again tie it up with some twine and hang it up and then you have a little bigger of a bee hotel. Anyway, there are so many different ways to make them, and like I said, I will post it on Facebook, um, all the different ideas, and a link if you want to learn more about bees and their natural habitat, and how you can help with, with, with um, the bee population and providing them with a nesting area. I'll put that on Facebook, okay? So, let me get to this. I'm going to put this all together, and I'll see you outside, okay? All right. Okay, so we are outside. I finished it all up and hung it up. There she is. Looks kind of cool, huh? I like how it turned out. <laughs> I have a couple little things to add on to it. I have a little thing to go here and here, but I just wanted to show you it because um, I got it up and I filled it in with everything. There's our straws, our pine cones, and a bunch of other stuff, our raffia, and uh, our little rain shield here. Now, I wanted to tell you that this is hanging on uh, facing southeast. It gets morning sun in here, so that's a perfect place to put your uh, bee hotel, definitely. Um, I secured it to the back with those hooks that I made out of hangers, so it's pretty good. So that's all she wrote. I just it, You just leave it there and the insects do their things. Now, one thing I told you about the winter, this is a nice canopy here, you know, it's like a perfect place. It protects it from the elements, and also in the winter, this protects it from like like harsh winds so to speak now if you live in an area where your winters are like terrible I mean freezing for like weeks and weeks and weeks on end it's recommended that you bring your bee hotel inside and keep it in like the bottom drawer of a refrigerator for the remainder of winter somewhere where it's where it's cold you know but not freezing for like long periods of time now I've never done that I've always left mine out and I've had very good results with it what I do do what I do 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 um, is I insulate it a little bit so I will make a little cardboard thing that goes over it to insulate it for the winter time then come in the uh, springtime as soon as like the weather breaks you know the freezing cycle I'll take that off and let them continue to do their thing it's really really cool as soon as like the trees start flowering and stuff you'll see they'll start to pop out and you'll have all of your bees they'll come out in the springtime it's so so cool check out those links I put on Facebook if you want to learn more about it because it's super cool to see how they do everything it is really cool so as you can see I have flowers growing for the pollen 
Uh, we have protection from rain and the elements. Plenty of dirt for for our uh, queen bee to uh, get some mud to pack in there. So I think they're good. I can't wait to see what happens. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope you like it. And then, of course, I had to end it all with a little message for the bees. Don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. If you'd be so kind, please hit the subscribe button. And if you hit the notification button, you'll you'll be the first to know of any video we release, right? Do that. Um, please like and comment below. If you have any questions on this project, definitely send me an email. All of our contact information is below. We're on Facebook, Smokey Steve Space and Mark. Send us a friend request. I'll accept it. We're on Instagram, Smokey Steve and Mark. And very soon... We're going to be on the Twitter. Oh, yes, we are. Thanks so much for watching. Ah, it was fantastic spending time with you. I hope you enjoyed our little video. I hope I inspired you to make your own bee habitat. I'll see you next time. Remember, stay safe, stay well, but above all else, stay positive, guys. Ciao.